Today we're opening another epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another awesome collection video, or at least I hope it's awesome. We're gonna check it out today, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Dimension Force booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know your favorite card from this collection. There's a lot of different cards. Um, well, I say a lot, but it's actually more of a quality versus quantity thing, kind of like our last collection video, which I love to do because it's always a bunch of bangers back to back to back. So let's see what's inside. All right, guys, here's the collection. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think I should be paying for this, what you think it's worth, whatever you want to do in the comments. Let's check it out together. I really don't remember what's in here. I know there's some pretty good stuff, though. Just a couple of the cards. I don't remember everything. All right, so here we have a few deck boxes and then some top-loaded cards. I think the top-loaded cards are the best cards, so we're going to start with the deck boxes. So we have a white deck box here. Let's go with the Blackluster Soldier. We got Cyber Dragon from Gold Series. What is this? Gold 1? Is it the original gold? Nice. We've got two of those. Mind Crush. Wait, is this like a deck? Dark Arm Dragon? This almost seems like it's like an Edison deck just kind of put together. Dark and Dragon, it really does seem like that. What if it, this was like a SJC and we're like, wow, <laughs> that would be the most random thing of all time. Shining. Feather Shot, Ultimate Rare. We got a couple of reinforcements. This is definitely like a deck. This is like an Edison deck. Look at this. Foolish Burial. Okay, maybe not this. I don't know about that. But a lot of that was Edison stuff. Compulsory Evacuation Dice. Dimension Fusion. This is actually a very expensive card. Probably our best card so far. Then we got a Gold Sark, the Creator, XCs. We got a nice Laquari. That's not bad. The Barrel Dragon from Master Collection 1. Dark Hole, Mother Grizzly. Silent Swords. I always love this artwork. And the Secret Rare looks really good from this. It's the Elemental Energy promo if you got the Special Edition. Pretty nice stuff. Rope of Life, Relinquish Secret Rare from Master Collection, the Sacred Phoenix, we got two of those, Summoner Monks, the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, Seven Tools of the Bandit, a classic, we like that one, Microcoder, and the number 39, okay, some pretty decent stuff, Difo, definitely the best card there, I would say, funny because we're giving away Difo, and uh, you could call this Difo, so yeah, funny, okay, maybe not that funny, Gold Food Lord of Dark World, that was not really a joke, but I thought it was, Raikou, so a lot of uh, Light Sworn stuff, that's what I'm trying to say. Rainbow Dragon, oh, I thought I was hoping this is from Tactical Evolution, but it is the Tin version, which is pretty cool. Monster Reborn, Exodia the Forbidden One, we actually graded one of these um, in an upcoming PSA video, you may or may not have seen it yet, and uh, you guys will see what it gets if you haven't yet. Oh, we also graded one of these, except for that it was from Dark Legends, the bottom of Apophis, Double Spell, Unlimited Magic Jammer, Banister of the Radiance, actually pretty good. The Dark Paladin, it looks like it has a little crinkle in there, unfortunately. Um, we've got Exodia, Ex or Exod, Master of the Guard. The so these are all like the uh, starter deck ones. This is considered one of the worst starter decks, but when I used it in auction series, it was actually pretty good. So pretty cool. Wrath of Neos, Heavy Storms, Command Knight, Spirit Reaper, Breaker. We got a little hair up there, so we're going to have to get a new sleeve there. Call of the Haunted, Magic Cylinder, Mirror Forces. Oh, yeah, so we got an original Mirror Force. We got a uh, premium gold Mirror Force, and then we have Yugi's Legendary Dex Mirror Force. There's a lot of copies of Mirror Force in Yu-Gi-Oh!, Harpy Queen, Breaker the Magical Warrior, Breaker Dark, uh, oh, we got an LOD, Dark Ruler Hades, and then we've got, no, wait, those are both LOD, look different for some reason for a second, and then a Gold Sark, so a lot of, like, few dollar cards in there, but nothing too insane yet, but that's why, you know, we're saving the best for last. All right, Dark Magician of Chaos, this appears to be original print, nice, Genzo, okay, BPT, very cool, Prismas, Blue Eyes White Dragon from JMP, Instant Fusions, Super Polys, okay, did not get banned, so still pretty valuable there. Free, that's first edition, by the way, from Legacy of Darkness. Elemental Hero Stratos is pretty cool, Thousand Eyes Restrict, man, that thing looks to be in pretty bad shape on those edges. Chaos Command, Spellbinding, Blackluster Soldier from Gold Series 4, is that Pyramids Edition, I think? Tragadoa, the Luster Dragon from MFC, Gear Freed, Thousand Eyes Kaiku, Elements of Shining Phoenix Enforcer. One day we'll get the ultimate rare. I still have maybe owned like one of those ever. Horus of Black Time Dragon. It might even be zero. I feel like I owned one at one point. Future Fusion. Exchange. Ceasefires. We got Great Tornado. Okay, we got a Red Gadget. Okay, that's kind of random. Dark Ruler Hot Des. We got a lot of Dark Ruler Hot Des. We got a... Ooh, wait a second. I believe this is a reverse Magic Cylinder. People have been giving me a bunch of crap because I missed a Secret Rare in one of the 10 openings. Okay, guys, cut me some slack. I missed a reverse Secret Rare one time. Now it's like, apparently I always miss it, but it's just one time, guys. Come on, one time. This appears to be a reverse Secret. So there we go. We got a reverse Secret Magic Cylinder. Very, very cool. Then we have a uh, Destiny Draw. We've got the Ring of Destruction. That is not a Reverse Secret Rare, by the way. And by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, what a Reverse Secret Rare is, so the normal pattern goes like this for Secret Rares. The Reverse Secret goes the other way. It goes like this. 
So if you have a secret rare like that from old school, then it probably adds a little bit of value there. If you guys were wondering, Thunder King Ryo, Acid, the Gear Free, the Iron Knight, Morphing Jar. It can only happen on like 2002, 2003 cards from what I know, maybe 2004 on a couple. But like if it's a newer card, it's probably not going to happen. Elemental Hero Ocean, Solemn Judgment, the Dark Magician. Very, very nice. We got to check all those secrets so we don't get any, uh, you know, backlash. You know, you guys on Instagram. I'm mean, talking to you, okay? I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> the Fire Dragon Daedalus. And then, oh, Blackluster Soldier. So that was actually pretty solid. Our IOC stuff's looking good. Um, we've got Blackluster Soldier, Demok, and Dimension Fusion. Pretty solid. All right, two more deck boxes. Then we get into the top loaders. There's about 10 top loaded cards, it appears. Okay, these. this is not too crazy here. We got Missouri Zame. Is there a Yame inside? If there is, then it is much better. Let's see, Missouri Zame, Yame, Ryukoki, let's go. There's a play set for Ryukokis, actually. I did already get mine, but I will definitely probably put these to the side. Or maybe use these because they're originals. And then a couple Pekanya Moths. That looks like the Ruxin pack right there. So we will take that. We still need one Berserk Gorilla, so that would be nice if that was in here. But I doubt it because it seems like this is all foils. Uh, I don't think it has a foil part for Berserk Gorilla. Let's see, Parallel. This seems like a bunch of promos. All right, we're getting back into it. Gravity Warrior, Lightning Dragon. It's a lot of stuff from like Legendary Collection too. Yeah, we got the Venominaga. That is a Legendary Collection GX. Relinquished. We got okay. The Sphinxes. Yeah, those are those are pretty rare. No, just kidding. They're not. Uh, Eclipse Wyvern. We have the Plague Spreader Zombie with the very hard to read lettering of like you know super sparkly. Guy, yeah, i just a lot of gold stuff. A lot of gold stuff here. People are big fans of old gold. Apparently, you know, we've talked about this in videos before. You know, old gold versus new gold. So. Seems like old gold appears to be winning from what I can find. All right, final deck box before we get into the end part. This is, is this a deck? Okay, we got a deck. Oh, oh this might be all the Platinums. Is this all the Platinums from the Noble Knights of the Round Table? I think it is. Torrential, I think, is like five bucks, so it's actually not bad. Solemn Warning. I mean, there's a lot of really good cards in here. Honestly, I kind of like the Platinum cards. I know some people hate them. A lot of people hate them. Most people probably hate them. I think they're cool. And also, they have a lot of great stuff like Foolish Burial. Book of Moon, you know, I mean, there's just a bunch of really, really good cards. Uh, Noble Knight's probably not that great anymore. Dark Hole is in here. Reinforcement of the Army. I mean, it's like some good stuff for sure. This should have been an auction series thing. We never had uh, the Noble Knights of the Round Table as an auction series item. That should have been one while it was still around, but you know, RIP. All right, so far a pretty solid collection and we have a few cards left that we're gonna be checking out. Maybe there will be some crazy stuff. So I don't know what order we should go in. Maybe we'll just start from the front. Our first item aka our first card of the top loaders oh there's the rainbow dragon i was like yeah i really want a rainbow dragon i think i need an unlimited one of these secret rare for my binder i need to actually reorganize it so i have room for it but we have the secret rare it appears to be pretty nice maybe a little bit of a dimple right there you guys can see that not really a little bit it's definitely a dimple it got some back scuffing maybe I mean, this is not too bad. I could definitely hold on to this as like LP or something like that and take a spot in my binder. Very nice. You'll love to see this secret. It's a really pretty card, to be honest. I mean, it's Rainbow Dragon. What do you expect? One of the most epic cards ever. We will take that. Very good start for the top loaders. So this is probably going in my binder as LP. Actually, I need to mark it. All right, first is the Rainbow Dragon. Now we have another card. What is it? A Machine Duplication. Okay, let's check this out. This is a pretty nice card. We have the Machine Dupe Ultimate Rare. This is a retail ulti in Rise of Destiny, but one of the absolute best you can pull because it's just a really, really good card. It's been good for a long time. And as that Rise of Destiny scuffing, you might be looking at this like, man, this thing looks terrible. They come out of the pack looking like this a lot of the time with Rise of Destiny, which is very unfortunate. There's definitely some play scratches on it as well, like added in. You can see them going across. But uh, still, this one maybe like did some edge wear. I mean, Rise of Destiny printing terrible, like mod play, but it's still like a pretty nice mod play, I would say. But very solid card there. We will take that. What else we got? Oh, I went from the back. I don't know which order I'm supposed to go in. Let's just go like this. Destiny Hero Malicious. Why is this in here? <laughs> this is like a decent card, but I don't know why it's like a top loaded card. You know what I mean? Very interesting. We have a Destiny Hero Malicious from Duelist Pack. I don't remember which one. I these duelist packs only have like one ultra so this is like the only ultra from the set which is pretty interesting it's really kind of scratched up that's a bit wait what is that okay that's a pretty big scratch yeah okay maybe like mod play on this guy too but uh another nice card okay what's up next something big <laughs> another malicious you can't go one you can't just have one malicious you have to have two you know you can't play it with just one let's see if this one's in any better shape front appears to be okay it's a little bent there if you guys can see that on the corner uh, always when you're like valuing conditions or looking at conditions you need to look at it in the light so you can see stuff like this because like that would be hard to tell like this you'd be like oh it's, it's good 
But then when you see that, you can see it's a little bent. And the rest, I, that being bent is going to make it mod play at least. Yeah, this is like a worse mod play. I don't I don't think it's like heavy play. Maybe it could be heavy play, but it's definitely worse than the other one. So I don't know, somewhere in there. Okay, give us something big. I know there's some big stuff in here. Let's see. Queen's Knight, that's an ultimate rare, by the way. You might be like, wait, what is that? Ultimate rare Queen's Knight from Elemental Energy. Okay, Queen's Knight with some damage at the top. Not much, but a little bit of damage. Uh, these corners are definitely not great if we were actually like grading grading edge wear right there on the edge you guys can see that um yeah there's a little ding right there it looks like it's a little bent or something maybe not bent like like uh pushed or something i don't know i don't know what the word is back actually looks pretty good on this one but this is probably like lp maybe yeah something like that lp because it's pretty clean surfaces but does have corner and a little bit of edge issues all right, let's keep going. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We have to look at it. Gore is the Emissary of Darkness. So we know this guy's not going to be like amazing because they come out of the pack with a bunch of scratches on them. So let's just see what it is. We're going to go a little bit quicker on some of these. Yeah, there's some definitely that scratching from Gold Series Haunted Mine, but still, honestly, pretty nice card overall. Maybe even like near mint. I mean, foil scratches doesn't knock you. It knocks you out from mint and, you know, like 10 and 9 worthy, but you can still get 7s and 8s at PSA with that kind of stuff. So near mint, I would say. The next one, we have a Rainbow Dark Dragon. Very cool from Phantom Darkness. I don't know if I've owned one of these. That's pretty cool. Let's see what condition this guy's in. We have a Rainbow Dark Dragon. Real quick, once over of it. It appears to be LP with the scratching on the back. Just a very quick check. Still a few. Okay, there's more than 10 cards. I thought there was only 10 cards. There's a lot more. Okay, we absolute zero. This guy we're probably not going to check because I don't think he's too crazy expensive. Probably like 10 bucks, but a really nice version. I'm probably actually going to replace in my Edison deck my supers that I have with this. Looks a lot better. I think he had a few of these. He might have three. Yeah, absolute zero. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. I mean, these, these just look better because they're old style. You know, they look a lot cooler. Then we have a, oh, a Destiny Hero Dogma. Very nice ultimate rare. This is from, uh, what is it, Power of the Duelist, I think? Yeah, Power of the Duelist. It's a super rare normally. Comes in ultimate rare, first edition. This looks good. Uh, definitely some scratching on the back for sure. We're going to have to check that one out later a little bit more. All right, what is next? We have a another Dogma. Okay, Double Dog. Double Dogma. Very nice. Let's check it out. Check it out. See what we got. Another ultimate rare Dogma. Pretty cool. Back looks a lot better on this one. Still got some scratching, but definitely better than the last one. Then we have a... Ooh, Gold Woo Lord of Dark World. I always forget this as an ulti. Yeah, from Elemental Energy. This is probably actually pretty valuable right now because the whole Dark World thing coming out and also like Ultimate Rare. There's a Secret Rare version we pulled earlier. Or not, or we didn't pull, but we opened it. Wow, this card's like really nice. Maybe a little bit going on right there on the edge, but this is very, very solid in terms of condition. Very nice gold, Ooh, Lord of Dark World. That's pretty sick. I don't think I've ever owned that card or even had it, so that's really nice. What we got next? We have another Rainbow Dark Dragon. It's kind of weird. What? Two Rainbow Dark Dragons? Interesting. Collection is definitely from like this era. Phantom Darkness, Elemental Energy, all this stuff. Uh, this one appears to be pretty clean, honestly. This card is like near mint plus, at least, from what I can tell on a quick once-over. Really, really nice from Phantom Darkness Unlimited. Then we have a... Oh, an Air Neos. Let's go. The Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card that we have not been able to pull, but we have been able to pull it out of this collection, I guess. Technically, we pulled it out of those Troll and Toad boxes too, which was really, really cool. All right, nice. And then we have a... Wow, super solid. A little bit of scratching and stuff. I'm gonna have to check that again, but this card looks really nice. It's Ultra Rare First Edition, not the Ultimate, but it is at least First Edition, which is still really, really nice. Very expensive card there. Last few cards, we have another Rainbow Dark Dragon. This one's First Edition this time, which is, you know, even better, of course. All right, that is beautiful. And then, yeah, there's some scuffing on the back on this one, but still nice card, Rainbow Dark Dragon. A third one, which is hilarious because i've like never had one of them before now we got three <laughs> there's a lot going on then we have a hero lives this is a big card generation force i pulled a few of these when we were searching for the leviathan dragon really nice ultimate rare printing of the card um so yeah very strong for those you know hero decks and stuff like that you know i have no idea how, like what you actually do in a hero deck but uh it's a hero card and it's an ultimate rare so very nice a hero lives i never actually played a hero deck besides like you know basic early stuff Another hero lives. Two of them. Very nice. Very expensive card because it has an ultra rare version as well. And that one was still like five bucks. So that's how you know it's like decent because like the ultra is still valuable. And then we have what? Four more cards. What's next? 
Oh, a rainbow Neos. There we go. There is something epic. Wait, I mean, this has all been epic, but this is really epic. Rainbow Neos. Hopefully it's in great condition because I don't know if I have one of these. Well, maybe I have one. I don't know. Bottom edge definitely has edge wear. You can see that. Surface on this foiling looks good, though. Honestly, pretty solid card. I mean, it's not perfect, but definitely just Okay, I see a print line right down the middle like that, but it's just a print line. There's also... Whoa, there's another one right there up, up top, but I'm not too worried about print lines. Oh, there's a... Oh, the corner's dang, dang it. Um, still not too worried about print lines, though. I'd rather the foil look good and stuff. Wow, that looks good. Check that out. Thumbnail, anybody? A little thumbnail action? That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Two, three packs... Or three, not packs. Three cards to go. Oh, I do. I definitely need this one. I'm pretty sure I definitely don't have the secret rare. Okay, Rainbow Neos. Sick. Sick. We got out of that binder, guys. Got out of the binder. Oh, that thing is destroyed, though, unfortunately. That, that corner is real messed up. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad. Two to go, two to go. Another one? Okay, wait, this one's unlimited. Okay, that's actually good. First Ed and unlimited. I don't think I have either of them, so... They're at least going to be a placeholder, which is nice. We have Secret Rare. This one looks much better. No giant dings. Oh, wow, this one's, like, really nice. Maybe a little bit of scratching, but this is honestly, like, probably good enough to go in my binder for good. Like, it doesn't have to be meant to be in my binder. It has to be, like, near minty. And this one seems like it might be, so that is nice. A nice addition there. And then we have one more card. What's it going to be? Pretty nice collection so far. Oh, whoa. Okay, Allure of Darkness Ultimate Rare. This really was like a uh, like a Dark Arm Dragon kind of 2008, 2009 kind of deck. Or like, not deck, but just like cards. So really, really cool. Allure of Darkness Ultimate Rare. Beautiful. You love to see it. Oh, wow. That's, that's not great on the back, but honestly still pretty nice condition because it looks, you know, there's no bends or anything. Turned out to be a pretty epic collection there at the end. And uh, we have more collections coming up because I've been buying a lot of collections recently. And uh, if you enjoy these, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll continue to buy more collections to show you guys what I'm getting. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tome Fo Show, Ananas High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.